Yo, yo, yo. Let me get this, get some more people in here before we get this going. What's the deal? What's the deal? I see everybody in the uproar about about the abortion, um, all this abortion shit that's going on. And um, everybody got their emotions in it. And I think um, people need to have a real understanding of what's really going on. <clears throat> and I'm gonna break this shit down for y'all. Abortion ban is not an attack on women. It's white supremacy. I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain that. We're going to talk about it. I'm give it a second. I want to get some more ladies in here. Tag some ladies because I'm going to break this down. And I'm going to give y'all sources that y'all can go see and y'all can go ahead and, and fact check everything that I'm saying. So we clear about, absolutely clear about everything that's going on right now. Yo, yo, we got in here. Victoria, let's talk about it. Yeah, I actually agree. They don't want to become, <laughs> see, you smart. You smart, and I'm going to break that down. Almost, she, she, she hit it right on the head. She said... They don't want to become the minority. That's all it is. And that's a fact. Um, and um, if you're not familiar with the book Birth Durf, it's by uh, Ben J. Waddenberg. Um, it's a very expensive book, at least from what I've seen. If somebody's found that book, um, if they found it for cheaper, but the, the lowest price I've seen online is uh, $300. Um, but Birth Durf by Ben J. Wattenberg, uh, it was published in 1987. And um, basically what, what he goes through is uh, he describes like potential for um, significant decli declines um, in global population based off of total fertility rate. And um, so basically, right, and my source for this is uh, the Business Insider. They, they say by 2043, whites will no longer be the majority in the United States. So, and by 2060, minorities are projected to make up 57% of the total population in the United States. So, and also on uh, a business insider, they say um, the minority population would more than double from, I believe it's 116 million to 241 million over the period of 2043 to 2060. Um, yeah, you can get these books at the library too. So basically the white population, or I like to call them the European Americans, are projected to peak by 2024. So that when I say peak, it's like from that point, they're not adding any more to their numbers. And as far as birth rate and projected um, and peak and they're, they're supposed to peak at, I believe, 199 million and slowly decrease after that. While everybody else is increasing and. And. Um, talking about total, total fertility rate. So it's a white it's a white supremacist agenda and not an attack on women. They're trying to get it to a point where they increase their numbers and also people also think this too. They think you know, we're familiar with the black community. We're we're familiar with our people and we strongly believe that we have the most abortions. Now, looking at abortion numbers is tricky because they lie about the numbers. They'll count a woman 
who has multiple abortions multiple times. So if you have three abortions, they count you three times, right? As opposed to um, counting that once. So it makes the numbers look escalated, more escalated than what they really are. So a realistic number that you can look at, um, my source for that is the abortion surveillance, United States. White people, and this, this number was from 2015, um, the abortion rate for white people, or European Americans, how I call them, um, was 49%, blacks 40%. And other than that, it was 11%. So they're, they're aborting babies more than us, right? Let's see. Here. I'm having fertility issues and I'm not doing a live tonight. Okay. Touching. I don't know what she's talking about. Um, but they're aborting, they're aborting babies at a higher rate than so-called black people, right? And it's really a crisis because if their total fertility rate, if they're going on a decrease, if they're supposed to go on a decrease, if they're supposed to reach their peak at 2020, they're actually on the verge of extinction. So, and then and here's another thing, right? I, my, my problem is with everybody getting so emotional about these, um, these laws being passed. These laws are being passed on state levels. There's different levels. There's different levels of, of court, right? So, if you're not familiar with Roe vs. Wade, you should you should look up that case, right? That case is a case law. It's a precedent, right? So, if a state says that makes something law on a state level, it can get overturned or will get overturned when it reaches the highest courts of the land, the Supreme Court, right? And they have to go by that precedent that was set. Now, the precedent, which is Roe vs. Wade, could get overturned. It takes a, a number of judges to do that. Um, it takes a number of judges to do that, and it's a, it's a process, but it hasn't been done yet. So these cases that are being... Um, signed in, I think the governor of uh, Alabama and uh, Missouri, they passed a bill to basically banning abortions. These case, these um, these laws that they're putting in effect, they're actually illegal. If we're talking about the actual on a on a federal level, <laughs> so of course, if a woman, you know, what I'm saying she has an uh, uh, abortion and all of that, you know, what I'm saying she has to go through the whole process. Um, of course, of course, you know it's 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 a it's a whole it's a whole process that's really like it's it's a tedious, a long process. It's unjust, but at the same time, banning abortions on a state level is illegal because of case law. So it's really nothing to get emotional about. It's it's really we have to start thinking on a more legal um, aspect. Marching ain't gonna do shit getting on social media and whatever, you know what I'm saying, crying about it, having a full understanding of what's really going on. And what's really going on is it's a white supremacist agenda to not, I wouldn't say con control the population, but, you know, Europeans, European American is on the verge of extinction and they'll no longer be the majority by 2043. That's what it's escalated to be. Um, it'll probably be much sooner than that. Um, especially, it'll be much sooner than that if they keep aborting babies at the rate that they're doing because they're aborting babies more so than our people. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to apply another comment. That's why. That's because they do a lot of sleeping with their family. <laughs> she funny as hell. Yeah. So you can look at, um, you can go fact check all of this, abortion surveillance, United States, the Business Insider, um, look up Roe vs. Wade, um, 
don't trust anything that plan planned parenthood says because they the the numbers the numbers that they put out are agenda based and they lie about their numbers it's hard finding you know what i'm saying realistic numbers on abortion and you know it's a lot of abortion um numbers that are not being um put out there because some of the abortions that are being done are illegal so I honestly believe that that 49% that European Americans or white people that 40 that number is that's a low ball number I think they're aborting babies way higher than that but you know I don't have any facts on that um, but that's all I got for y'all man I want y'all to have a blessed day look into this shit don't get emotional about it just really do your research. <laughs>